Brakathia Hau, Brakathia was shy, Brakathia Hau, Brakathia was shy, Brakathia Hau, Brakathia Hau, Bashim Yawashai, Pahashim, Rakakudash, the blinds of the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, drew well. Salutations to the hopeful elect out there, man. You Akin, the Stakin, that do this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity. Uh, the priest Shaman, I'm coming back with a lesson called Contact Tracing. You know, if you was watching um, the <laughs> Coronavirus Task Force. Every day they have daily meetings. Trump. Oh, Fauci is saying, look, man, this thing is going to be back here in the fall. Look, it might be the fall. And <laughs> I'm just watching a live chat, man, and people are fucking losing it, man. They losing it. Why is that? Because the American, most people in America don't save money. You know what I'm saying? They normally spend it before they get it. A whole bunch of credit and employment. And you have over 4 million people just file for unemployment. So, you know, they continue to wipe out the middle class. And a lot of people pretty much, uh, this is too much for them. I can't do it. This is crazy. So they're ready, they ready to take anything for a solution. You know? Now, um, vaccination is being pushed out there. A lot of people on social media is talking about the RFID microchip. Um... Which that's the end all goal, no matter what. That's 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 it. They're gonna put this chip out there. Um, what you call it? Situation tensions in Iran. So a lot of people are nervous. A lot of people are on edge. This thing is going out to fall. Um, it's gonna even raise up unemployment more. So right now the 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 people on both sides. Whether the American person, whether the average American is pro open or pro closed, right now they just want solutions. And right now they, the government is trying to offer contact tracing, something that let's get into the article, let's read it. And it's crazy because you know it's not crazy. It's, you know we're in beautiful times, but I'm saying it's crazy in the sense that they wouldn't have took this three, four months ago, five months ago without a fight, but now. They welcoming, they welcoming their privacy being taken away and such. They well, they welcoming in, um, well at least mixed on the vaccines and whatever. Pretty much they welcome in the government solution, and that's how Esau does this thing, man. Anytime he has an agenda, he makes the people welcome it and love it. That is from the New York Times, which New York Times is full of shit. But you know, I'm just bringing this out to get the understanding of contact tracing. It says, what is contact tracing? Here, here's how it could be used to help fight coronavirus. And I just watched a video on contact tracing on YouTube, but this is the first time I'm reading this article. It says, public health nurse Lee Shari Booth conducts a test for COVID-19 outside of Salt Lake City Public Health Center on April 10th, 2020. Accompanied by Salt Lake County infectious disease nurse Travis Langston, when swab twist, when swab test comes back positive, contact tracing starts. So Donald Trump is giving out hundreds of thousands of swab, uh, swabs because it's a quick way to test somebody. And then pretty much when you get t tested, they're going to have all that data in your phone. It says, in the coronavirus era, a host of epidemi uh, epidemiolo epidemiological terms have entered common public use. There is now ubiquitous social distancing and the newly politicized, uh, politicized flatten the curve. And as states and local governments seek a way out of lockdowns that have brought their economies to their standstill, see... So these people are desperate, man. They're desperate to get a haircut, go to the movies, or whatever they were doing before this thing. Contact tracing has made its way into everyday conversations as well. But what exactly is contact tracing and how can it help society battle the COVID-19 epidemic? <coughs> Damn, can't sneeze in public. Here's the basics of the time-tested public health strategy and the hopes for its use in the coronavirus pandemic. Before I continue, I'm going to go ahead and read this scripture. This is 2 Thessalonians 2 and 4. Who opposes 
who opposes and exalted himself above all that is called the Most High, or that is worshipped, so that he, as the Most High, sitting in the temple of the Most High, showed himself that he is the Most High. What does the Most High do? The Most High has a control over every single um, creature you see on the planet Earth. What's one of the things the so-called white man wants to do? He has cameras everywhere. He already chips animals. So he wants to bring this particular total control that the Most High has over spirits to you. All right? To you people out there. And he's using gradualism. Contact tracing is a little like detective work. Train staff interview pe train staff interview people who have been diagnosed with a contagious disease to figure out who they may have recently been in contact with. Then they go tell those people they may have been exposed, sometimes encouraging them to quarantine themselves to pre prevent the spreading the disease any further. Think of it as part public health work and part investigation. Again, furthering the control over your privacy and conditioning people to accept solutions from the government. You have people that are for this and people that are against this. This is Isaiah 19 and 2. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians and they shall and they shall fight every one against his brother and every one against his neighbor, city against city and kingdom against kingdom. So this thing has split the nation in half, causing protests, soon to be riots. And <laughs> hey man, this is beautiful, you know? It says the technique is a cornerstone of Preventative medicine, says Dr. Laura Breer, medical directors of occupational health services at Mayo Clinic Contact Trace at Mayo Clinic Contact Tracing is having a moment of glory right now with COVID because of the crucial importance of identifying those individuals who have been exposed quickly and isolating or quarantining them, she says. Contact tracing was used during the 2014 Ebola virus outbreak as well as the SARS outbreak in 2003. It is also used to combat sexually transmitted infections and other um, cubicle disease like tuberculosis. And as COVID-19 has gone global, countries like South Korea and New Zealand have aggressively used contact tracers in an attempt to control the outbreaks. And you saw the same thing happen in... Singapore. So again, they're using this thing to further their agenda. Now you have different people. Um, you have people that are profiting mil billions from the lockdown, and you have people that are losing billions from the lockdown. So you see certain places like Brazil and other countries that are losing from the lockdown. They open it up, and same thing with certain particular states, and then certain people that are profiting. Like the Washington Post and these, you know, these different other people. Washington Post is owned by Jeff Bezos, the old Amazon. They're going to prolong it. And in the midst of all that, the government and controlling, taking control and removing more privacies is fulfilling a prophecy leading up to the RFID microchip because that's where this thing is headed. Once someone has been confirmed to be infected with the with a virus such as such as through a positive COVID nineteen test, contact tracers try to track down others who have had recent prolonged exposure to that person when they may have been infectious. Typically, that exposure means being within six feet of the person for more than ten minutes, says Doctor Bria. Though in a healthcare setting such as hospitals. The bar is lower to five minutes. So pretty much if somebody had the COVID and it was around you for fucking, let me see what they say, uh, for 10 minutes, then now you all susceptible for getting it. Now who's to say they can't manipulate the results and, you know what I'm saying? They could, they could do a lot of plays with that shit. 
you know. But pretty much, the gov- pretty much in a nutshell, the government could dictate when and when you can't be in your house with this shit. By this app on your phone. Now this dude, um, what's his name, Snowden, he said if you notice the new phones that come out, you can't take away the battery. You can't take out the battery because the way you used to not be able to trace and have a phone was you just get rid of the battery. Now, this phone has become a part of people. Their phones have become a part of their lives. You know what I'm saying? This phone has become a part of their lives. So most Americans can't live without a phone. Carries all the information. So you see the gradual stages right in front of us, man. And now with this contact tracing, they could dictate whether or not you could work. Because think about this right now. A lot of people want to work. They can't work. And if they bring out um, on COVID-20 or whatever, they said gonna, shit's going to come back in the fall. But they want to be able to be braced for it. Now... Is look, we could tell you whether you and you're able to go to work, not go to work. If you need to take a vaccine, because right now at my job, right before we go in, they check in on temperatures every night. They put the uh, the temperature that they used to use for the freezer, that little free, the temperature we used to check the when we unload the trucks to make sure, unload the frozen truck to make sure um the temperature's right. They point that at people's head, and I look at that like, damn man, yo, that that's like yo. That's these times. You can't work without your temperature being a certain degree. So prophecies are moving. It says healthcare workers then make an effort to reach out to every one of those contacts. Tell them that they may have been exposed and give giving them instructions on what to do next. That may include telling them about possible symptoms or directing them to self-isolate. So... More and more control, more and more totalitarianism, more and more steps leading towards an RFID microchip. Digital currency, government control, uh, contact tracing. Years of prophecy, baby. It says now, I'm slacking. What I'm going to do is I'm going to jump to the scripture because you have certain people that are opposing this thing. And look, we're going to... Go along with the get along until this man start implementing laws that's going to violate these scriptures. You know? So the moment my job comes on some mandatory vaccine shit, I'm out. You know? I ain't getting no vaccine. Now, is a vaccine the mark of the beast? No. We don't know. Actually, I should say. We don't know. We don't know if the chip is in there. But the scriptures specifically say that you can't buy or sell without the... Without the mark of the beast. Now you could buy a cell without a vaccine. You know what I'm saying? But I, look, I'm we we're not, we're not advising nobody to take that because we, we we don't know what's in it. You know, I wouldn't advise anybody to do that madness. You know. But the vaccine again, gradualism. Revelations twenty and four, and I saw thrones, and they that sat upon them. And judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai. So you're going to have certain brothers that are faithful unto death that's going to get beheaded for the witness of, get beheaded for believing in this thing. All right? Get be- beheaded for believing that, look, man, if I take that chip, I'm, I'm going to, you know, the, the path for that is destruction. And. That is the mark of the beast. So that's it's going to be trying times. It's going to be a test of faith. And I saw thrones and they that sat upon them and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai and for the word of the Most High, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image. So the worshipping of this beast, all right, this beast system is taking that RFID microchip. Okay. Neither his image, neither have received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. So any particular way that thing is implemented into your body. 
whether it's chipping your hand, left hand, knee, any part of your body, edible chips, there's no loophole. You t- you conform to that, this man's system, and there's no means of repentance, man. It says, or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Yahweh Shai a thousand years. So that's the time that we're approaching, all right? Coming destruction of America, the furthering of these prophecies, the fear and turmoil amongst um these Americans, um, and them being completely uncomfortable, for, for un, unemployment. Well, I'll say this much: the ones that are uncomfortable are the ones that had a lot to lose, multiple businesses, multiple homes, this and a third. And the ones that's kind of relaxing are the ones that really didn't have shit before this thing happened because now they're getting paid unemployment and that unemployment is more money than they ever made while they were working. So they're being sedated by the government. So that's the split. You know what I'm saying? The ones that are comfortable are like, man, let this shit keep going because shit, I'm getting money just chilling in the crib, no problem. And the ones that are suffering are the ones that had a little something, the middle class, if you will, the upper middle class. And forget about it. The one person, the one percent, they chilling, laughing, you know, making shit ton of money off. So that's that division right there, you know. And um, so the ones that are are good that are pro lockdown right now, they say, look, man, let I don't even know how the hell the cases are gonna go to zero because that's what Cuomo wants and Newsom wants the same shit. And we both know that's impossible. So in other words, they want to stretch this thing. Stretch this thing, stretch this thing to the point that these people are going to be will- willing to accept anything for that quote-unquote new normal. Hey, so look, with that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, which you well, and salutations to the whole for the elect out there, you Akim, to Zadakim, to do the singing that most truth and sincerity. Shalom.